I have here a slow and complex method, uh, which takes 500 milliseconds, half a second to calculate an answer. And if I run it, I will have to wait half a second. But I can also run or, or execute the method asynchronously. So this method is a string supplier, basically. It supplies a string. So I can use a completable future, completable future, supply async, and then pass a method reference. And the method reference um, looks like that. It is um, the uh, supply async, and this is app, app. This is the name of the class. And then slow is the reference. So it looks like that. Now, um, if I call join, it will wait until it completes, so there will be no difference. But what I could do as well is just to skip the join or do the join later here. And instead of joining, I can perform my own logic here. So let's say uh, something, then wait for, let's say, uh, 600 milliseconds, a bit longer. And then else. So and what should happen now, uh, this is executed asynchronously, I do something else, wait 600 milliseconds, um, and then I should see this output. And um, at the end, I should get the answer from the method. So if I run the code, we see something, then this was quick. After 600 milliseconds, I immediately saw this and the result, which means it is working as expected.